Let's sigh. <laughs> Every time. Like, I mean, I just don't, I don't know. It's literally, like, my internet. I have the 5G. I've got the Shaw 5G Wi-Fi. And it literally just, like, does not. Ugh. Now I got an ad showing up on Twitch. Thank you. Stop. Huh. Anyway, so I am back, but it is like obviously, you know, you should have gone with red. My God. Anyway, it is. Um, I'm so sorry about that. I just have this like 5G internet and it literally just, um, I don't know. It just, just decides to quit and it says no internet connection and then OBS disconnects and then everybody who is watching and everything they all think I just randomly dropped offline and they disappear and it sucks and it's very frustrating and so I don't know I don't know why my internet chooses to do that it's just it's completely obnoxious it's the split up and there's the Zunger Games style my god it's just like yeah no i am right here and it sucks because it's just a seems to be what has been happening lately is it just decides like i don't know why the internet would decide to just quit just like that and then obs quits and it just that's what's uh what's uh been happening so whatever and yes so thank you to everybody who is still here <laughs> i'm so sorry about that okay so, what is this all about? Yeah, totally, right? Good old Canadian internet. That is super duper fun. Well, I am back, so thank you to everybody who's still in chat and stuck around and everything. Uh, so sorry about that, but yes, so what I was just saying was all I'm doing is literally taking my bracer and I'm just finding the center point. I'm going to just mark it down. I mean, this wires are a little bit below. We're gonna do this just a little bit below the center point, just a wee bit. I'll make a decent size hole. Just a wee bit below. Okay, so, hey Namya, how are you doing? So not having a shot for a while as so you've had problems with it lots of times. I don't know, like nothing happens. It's just incredibly frustrating, Namia, because it's like it just decides just to drop out completely unexpectedly and it's always during stream and it's, you know, I can sit there and play like, you know, five hours of Overwatch straight and there's no dropout, there's no nothing. And then it just is immediately, it's just like, boom, done, right? Hey, CK Cosplay, how are you doing? Go with Hellas, get the fiber optics. I should look into that. Is it actually better? I've had bad, bad experiences with Telus in the past. Like, really bad experiences. Um, I can have you take a vote and play Mario as Lauren's fault. No, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Anyway, so you can go like, yes, I am totally back. And uh, what we're doing today is I'm doing a part two of LED tutorial where I'm going to show the wiring and everything but then I'm actually going to show how I attach it onto my armors and how I sort of finish it up to make it look like you know really uh really pro star so um so how long was I talking to myself before I realized I wasn't there for a little while I was like bop, 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 and then it just uh cut out so yes link hello back there you go we're all back Yes. Um, so I've just taken a mark about where my wires go in onto my Warbla. This is just my crappy bracer that I just made <laughs> this this afternoon in like half an hour just to use as an example of this so that you guys could see it on an actual piece of armor. Um, so I've marked exactly where no things are falling. So I've marked exactly where my um, wires will end up poking through on my armor piece as I like keep dropping my gem and just chipping, chipping it all over the place. So I'm going to take my heat gun, which is already plugged in, and I'm going to start heating this area. I have already traced out 
roughly the size of my gem is sort of a little place holder for it. I like my gems to look kind of raised and have a setting to them like you would see sort of on a ring. That's how I like my gemstones to look on my armor pieces. Um, you're trying to find the parts for wiring and stuff online like Amazon, but there's so many voltages and stuff. Do you think someone could maybe put together a list or something? Well, of course. So this is all of the things like I was just showing you, Crappy Bracer. Oh, well, thank you, fat guy. I don't, I did it. I made it in like half an hour. It is from old parents I had. So CK Cosplay, these are all of the things that I use. See, I can, I will try to put together a list of where you can find this stuff. To be honest, I actually shop locally. And so I get this at my local YTech Direct electronics store in my little small town. They have all of these things and they're super cheap. So this is why I um, am not completely familiar with exactly where you could get these things online, but I will do my best to research that and to let you know. So, um, you better be good to our painters. Aww. Aww. Thank you so much. Um, oh my gosh. No, I know. Advantage you here, Alyssa. Okay. Well, we will, uh, we will let that, um, sort itself out in chat. So, it's like, it's like we're watching a modern soap opera right now on chat which is crazy so yes pixel grabs popcorn oh my god i know okay so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let chad do what's gonna do and i'm just gonna keep prattling on about doing leds and wiring hey kane how are you doing oh kane's here kane is our resident electrical engineer so right now we're doing wiring but then we're actually attaching it to pieces of armor so you can see a finished product kane so ck cosplay if you have some like in-depth questions about certain things like uh, what kind of ohm resistor and stuff you need to use. Kane is our resident electrical engineer and he can help you answer a couple of those questions. Um, anyway, um, what was I going to say? He's also our residential drum feels good man. Yeah, Kane is also our, uh, he's not like, I would never say that he's a uh, connoisseur of, um, fine beverages. He is a resident electrical engineer and connoisseur of uh, fine spirits and wine. Sommelier, if you will. So there's Kane. Yay. Yes, you got drafted again, Kane. Yay, Kane. So um, I will definitely CK Cosplay, like I said, try to create a list of where I get the stuff, but it's tough because I actually get it all locally, which is really great. Well, for me, <laughs> but I will definitely try to uh, make a list that I can share about links to all of these electronic stuff. I'm assuming that you're probably going to be having, uh, doing some wiring and stuff on your mercy. So that's why I'm revisiting this right now. Good spin on that. Thank you. I know I won't. Don't worry. I won't like to do with that. Okay. So I've, uh, marked my point And so I'm just going to take my heat gun and heat up the top layer of my point right here. I'm gonna go through this as sort of like a process. So that's heated up, and then all I'm gonna do, oh, I'll try and move this. Sorry guys, I'm going to just move that down just a smidgen so that you guys can see what I'm doing on here. So I've uh, just heated up my warbler, and I'm taking my X-Acto blade, and I'm just cutting a nice, decent size little circle out. Does not have to be perfect. You must remember that a gem is going to be going on top of this. So don't worry if it looks a little ugly or whatever, you will never ever end up seeing it. So I just peeled away my first layer and I'm gonna keep going and uh, going through the layers and the layers of craft foam until I poke through the other side. Um, you're just wondering where C staff has lights in it. Yeah, that's true. I was curious if you were going to make any of your gemstones light up as well for an extra effect. Um, oh, hey, Haskilios, how are you doing? Hello. Yes, Kane loves his wines and spirits. All right, so I'm just going to keep cutting and just getting this 
layer of craft foam out of there. And then I'm just gonna keep heating and going. I'm using the high setting right now, but you can, if you're scared, you can use the lower setting, but I just want this to go as fast as I can get it. Mm. Didn't heat it enough. Just try to make sure that you're not, that you're only focusing on the part where you are going to lay your gem and not on the rest of the sides. So I cut this out. Ooh. I need to be careful with this knife. Um, let me just take a quick look at that. Uh, heat gun for hair dryer equals no hair. Yes, no hair. No, no, do not use your heat gun um, on, on your hair. It will like light on fire and then you won't have any hair. Um, oh my God, he dried his hair with a heat gun. Oh my God, that's awful, brutal. A fine beverage contest. Ah, uh, you're very tired. It's on 6 a.m. here. Didn't sleep yet. You watch WWE Money and the Fake Me Baby. That's great. Oh my god, on pay per view. That's awesome. I used to love wrestling like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. But I haven't, uh, I really haven't watched it in forever. But I used to love like old school wrestling. Like the days of like Triple H and Mankind. Do you guys remember Scotty Too Hottie? I need to the worm. I love Scotty too, hotty. Um, that's okay, Eric. Don't worry about it. We got a couple. Uh, why not use a pin vise? Um, I just like to. I have a ton of X-Acto blades from working with Warbla uh, hanging around, so that's why I use um, the. That's why I use an X-Acto blade for it. It's just to me. It's just they're. Convenience, personally. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to flip it over and cut through the layers for the on the other side. No. Oh no. I have to get another hair dye. It got hot and my hair band exploded. <laughs> oh, good times. Um, in Skyline, in your experience, how long should you wait before putting your second layer of Rust-Oleum on? Uh, are you talking about primer? I would usually wait about an hour before doing a second layer of primer. Just giving it time to cool down and to, to cool down, to uh, dry up and to actually, um, just like, I don't know. If you put too many layers of primer at once, you'll end up getting a lot of, uh, you'll end up getting some marks and that's what you don't want, uh, drip marks. So you'll end up getting drip marks and then that can be real bad. So you really don't want that. I need to get myself another hair tie. But also love it if my X-Acto blade was not this dull. Come on. Um, 
Macho Man Randy Savage. Is this what we're talking about, Kev? Because it's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, good times. Mm -hmm. Undertaker is still alive, but this was his last year at WrestleMania. Crazy. Yeah, the hair tie exploded. I don't know. I had, so I need to grab another one. I had a little hair tie and it got really hot <laughs> and it exploded. <laughs> so I got to grab another one. I was just trying to get my hair out of my face because it's like always in my face. Okay. Let's take. Hmm. Okay. So, just like you can see, I've made my hole in my facer. I know it looks kind of weird, but I have. So, just as an example, I'm just going to grab a hair tie really quick. Good Jamaican brown rum does not need Coke. I have told, oh, like, like rum and cokes, got it. I, I don't know. I went to a bad place. <laughs> I went to a dark place with that one. Um, can I grab some spare hair ties? <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, makes you worried about your hair, Andy. It's not enough to ruin the hair tie. It's fine. It's because these are like cheap little crappy hair ties. So it's okay. Don't you worry about it. But so there you go. There's my hole. So you can see I put that in there. So just as an example, just because this one's already got these wires on it. Um, I always do these long wires first, like right before I get them out. Just so you can see exactly what I am doing here. I use the hole just so I can feed everything through so that the gem will sit on top and all the wires have a place to go on the inside. Do you see what I mean? So gems sitting here on top. It'll obviously be attached and everything for sure, but it's just you make the hole so that you can feed the wires through. Because you don't want to make way too big of a hole because that will be really ugly. So you want to do this first so that you can start um, by doing your wires, like your longer wires like this, like I will show you. And then you sort of solder off of here because things like the switches or if you're doing... Um, your bigger armor parts or something or even this armor part you can put in your battery packs and whatever and they're not going to fit through that hole right so you want to kind of make as small a hole as possible but you do want to do it first so i have my hole on my bracer where i can feed all of my wires through so i'm going to totally put this aside for right now and i'm going to get started doing all of my wiring um, does that make it a holy bracer? That is very good, Cassian. Very good jokes. You're such a very wonderful jokester. And Appleton Estate is amazing. Oh, okay. I have not been, I have to admit, I've not been the biggest rum fan. I prefer, if I'm ever going to drink, partake in the, uh, darker alcohols I prefer rye and uh like a good like I don't know not like good but like a like a crown and ginger or something like that that's sort of my preference I'm not the biggest rum fan I don't mind flavored rums like Malibu and stuff with orange juice but as far as uh straight up rum never been the biggest biggest rum fan um Let's see. So I'm making you jealous. Funny is that sorry time Gorilla Glue uh, liked, a, liked a picture of yours and wanted to send you a care package. That package came. Um, Oklahoma somewhere made to your doorstep. You went there accepted for some so for some reason it's almost made to back to Toronto. Oh no. That sucks, but that's really awesome that you got a care package from Gorilla Glue. That's a big deal, Eric. So like big rounds of applauses for Eric. Okay, 
So I'm just going to tilt this up just slightly because the thing is going to be big. Okay. So let's start doing our soldering. So I am going to have to unplug the heat gun and plug in the soldering iron. Because I'm not going to use the heat. Oh, I will use the heat gun again, but I'm not going to use it for a little while. So just plugging in the soldering iron and getting it all warmed up. All right, I'm just going to move my battery over. Now I have my gem all ready to go with its little prongs and everything. I'm also going to just quickly grab, use Gorilla Glue Sticks and they're amazing. Oh wow, I've never actually tried Gorilla Glue Sticks. Um, Kane, did I get some 5500 for the LEDs? No, I didn't. <laughs> It's fine, Kane. It's fine. I just, I don't know. I just, like, I kind of forgot. And then I just, I don't know. I just didn't go out shopping for that. And I just used what I have. So this thing is super duper cool, right? This is my, you guys have seen this before on uh, my LED stream. This is my little holder man. And this little holder doodaddy holds, um, I'm gonna move this table just a wee bit closer. This little holder thing holds uh, all the wires so that I can have an extra set of hands. It's like called like a hand buddy or something. So it's really good and super duper useful. Um, help your kitten can't refrain from laying on your hand. Oh, I wish, Heskelios. I wish I had a kitten that was laying on my hand. So the one th quick thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my battery. So LEDs always have, well, not always, but often they have a short, a shorter prong and a longer prong. Can you guys kind of see that? So they have a shorter one and a longer one. And that determines whether it is positive or negative. So... I've got my little Energizer coin cell battery because I like to use coin cell batteries in all my wiring because I find that they're the easiest to hide inside a costume. So to figure out exactly which is my positive, which is my negative. So the longer wire is positive and the shorter wire is my negative one. So you can see it's glowing right now. So, with that being said, I'm just going to write down just on my parchment paper right here. Ooh, this is hot. That's getting really hot. So, long, which will be red, will be positive, short, which will be green, though it'll end up, they'll both end up being green because I'm out of wire will be negative. I just like to remind myself of that so that I don't get confused when I start my soldering. Oh, Mokmo, hello. How are you doing? Um, helping hands. Yeah, helping hands, Stoofers. The helping hands. Those are so great. Did I get that helping hand from Princess Auto? No, I actually got it from Ytech Direct, which is my, uh, like electrical supply place in Kelowna, but if Princess Auto has them too, that is awesome. Um, yeah, it's Bucky. Bucky, it's totally like a inspector gadget arm for sure. And um, yes, yeah, so Mokmo, that is awesome. And uh, thank you, Drew, for the time out there. Vader, I love uh, that you are here. You're a wonderful part of chat. Vader's boyfriend, I, while I appreciate that you guys may be going through difficulties and relationships and everything are really tough, this room is not the place for this. You need to kind of have your discussion off of chat and in the privacy of your own home. So Vader, if you'd like to uh, stay and hang out and talk cosplay and learn something and just have a nice chill night and stuff, absolutely, you're more than welcome. But I just... Uh, do not want to bring about personal relationship drama into my chat. So if you could, I hope you can respect that, Vader. Thank you, Drew, for getting on top of that. Um, 
So, yeah, you got yours from Princess Auto, and it's the exact same. You were enjoying that show. I'm sorry, Pixel. I am so sorry that I am ruining your drama right here. But when people start being like, hey, can you get this person out of here? And this is making me uncomfortable. Like, I got to step in, Pixel. Like, I'm so sorry, but it's just, do you know what I mean? Hey, Spiky Boy, what is up? I am good. What are you up to? So, um, oh, Eric, yes, for sure. Um, you can come back a little bit. This is why I decide to have as a uh, couple new mods and everything because it's definitely in and out. You feed off the drama. I am sorry, Pixel. I am so sorry. Got no drama here, Spiky Boy. Good. We just had a relationship uh, quarrel going on with a couple of our viewers in chat, and so it's this. Let's keep this a nice, uh, chill space for everybody. Oh, I missed you last BluesCon again. No. Oh, that's so brutal. Okay, this BluesCon, you need to come find me. We need to meet up because it's going to be a super special BluesCon. I'm very, very excited. I love BluesCon. It's like my absolute favorite con ever. Um, it could be worse. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, so I've written down that my long is my red and that is my positive, my long prong, and the short is the green's negative. So... I have my wire, my red wire. I'm going to start off with that one. I I had these wire cutters that uh, Kane thinks are garbage and he gets less and less uh, convinced by them, but they're really helpful for cutting, for stripping the plastic off of the wire. However, now I can't find them. So you win, Kane. No, uh, now I got to just use scissors. No uh, fancy dancy store wire cutters for me. Yeah, see now I gotta use scissors because I can't find my wire cutters. And see, this is what happens when I don't have my wire cutters. <sighs> I just can't get this plastic off. Ugh. See, this is why these wire cutters were good. Okay, I did it. I got the plastic off. It's fine. We're good. We're good. It's fine. Because I got the plastic off. Um, so I'm going to start off with this. I got my little helper buddy. Um, a set of canine strips work well for what you use your job. I have this like really cool little multi-tool that can cut a bunch of different... Uh, it can strip a bunch of different multiple... Uh, wires however I can't find it and Kane are uh, yeah I know fluffy I'll watch out for the hot iron and Kane a resident engineer was like oh they're so cool and then he was like yeah by the end of the show last time we did LEDs he was like I'm not convinced so um Kane popped around his lab yeah totally they were good eternal god slayer hello we're doing an LED Tutorial from start to finish so you can see what it's like to attach this to a um, actual piece of armor. Because I've done an LED tutorial before, but I had a lot of people having some uh, questions about how do you actually sort of get it onto the armor and everything. Okay, so I got my gem. I'll set up right there. Got my red wire down. Just going to wrap this around just to set up. And I am going to use some gloves and my little mask. And everybody last time was like, well, I've been soldering for 20 years and I've never used a mask. And I'm so sorry, but I just, I get paranoid about it, so. Test, go. Okay. 
So I got it wrapped around and my soldering iron should be nice and heated. So I am going to put on my tiny little mask. I'm not using as regressive of a mask as I did last time. But even still, I want to be safe then. Sorry. Uh, my heart is way better than mine. You, can, you can't be so delicate. I know. I said trying so hard to be as delicate as I possibly can. And that's right. I'm going to be wearing a little bit of gloves. Okay. So whatever. I just prefer to not touch the lead and everything. That's right, Lizzie. I am wearing my PPE. Oh, and Lizzie, I'm glad that you're here. I don't know if you've been watching, but we have a new mod. And it was definitely in response to your hilarious timing outs and everything last uh, stream. So there you are, Lizzie. You can figure it out in a little bit. Lead is dangerous. You're a chemist. Yes, absolutely. Wow, it's exhausting walking back and forth. And to clean the kitchen. I'm so sorry you're cleaning the kitchen. Um, Let's see. Yay, for safety. Hooray. Um, You're loving the hat? Oh, thank you so much, Eternal God Slayer. Okay, so I've got my soldering iron right here is all I'm just gonna tin the tip a bit there you go and now comes the soldering Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I can't see your name, and I'm sorry. I, I just am, I'm butts deep in doing this. Okay. So I'm gonna leave that. Yeah. I am gonna wear my big mask. There was poofs of smoke. And they were getting in my face and I don't want to inhale that so I am wearing my big mask and I don't care what all you little naysayers saying that I'm being a really cautious say so I am putting this on is that smoke what am I doing I'm soldering so there can be tiny little puffs of smoke that happens when you solder um so, yeah, you love the multi-gloves. I couldn't. They're actually as stupid as that sounds. No, my hair will be okay. Don't worry about it. But as stupid as this sounds, they're actually two of the same hand because I could not find the other. So, I mean, I was getting the smoke in my face, and I don't want that. So, this is what's happening. I just wanted, you know... So I even let in there, it's the flux. Yeah, I just didn't, I don't know, I don't like inhaling random smoke chemicals, personally. Just not into it. Okay. So, let's take, oh, I like this one better. Yeah, it's bad to breathe in. Do you know what I mean? I just don't want to breathe it in. So, but last time I did this, everybody was like, oh my God, you were like way too paranoid and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I don't want to breathe in smoke stuff. Yes, I know. Now it's the burn quotes. <laughs> You've been healed far worse from welding. You'll be fine. See, it's people like Kev who are coming in and saying, you're an idiot for being too safe and protected, blah, blah, blah. That's what happened last time. They were like, I've been welding for 40 years and I've never needed to do this. And I'm like, fuck. I'm sorry. I just, ugh. Okay. So I'm getting my other little bit of wire. Just going to cut a bit off of this. Take my thing off. Luke, I am your father. No, I know. But I see I'm saying it. Luke. I am your father. See, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at voices. I'm not good at lines. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for my terrible voice, voice acting. Ugh. 
Why can't I find my wire cutters? This is just so frustrating. Using scissors sucks. Like it sucks big time. Huh. Okay, we got that one. I'm gonna do the other end so I don't need to be frustrated. Oh, you think I make a gas mask look cute? That's so nice. See, like, I feel like it's weird talking with a mask on. It's like Deadpool. Because you only have your eyes to express, like, emotions. So if I'm like that, clearly I'm mad. But if I'm like, clearly I'm excited. It's very weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a, yeah, I do. Like, you don't work your safety glass and now you see stuff in everyday life and wonder how people don't die more often. Are you serious? See, that freaks me right out. <sighs> Kane, you made fun of my wire cutters, and this is not working using scissors. I may have to try and find them. There is somewhere around here, but I cannot find them, and I looked, and I'm frustrated because they are the bomb. Okay, well, I got my wire cut here. What do? Okay. So, my second side going to wrap this around my LED end. Oh, AWOL, use safety when you can. Always better for you. Thank you. Hello, Ranger Rhino. I'm like a teenage angsty bane. Oh, that's so sweet that you said I was teenage. Thank you. That's very sweet. <laughs> that's lovely. You're lovely. <laughs> oh, good times. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to wrap this around just so it stays it's easier okay so I got that now I'm just going to whoop, get away from there I'm just going to hold it with my little little guy a little buddy there you go move it over like that you guys can still see that eh it's on there it's right there um hey you did not say it not having a wire cutter would be better for sure oh bye Nambia. Yeah. have a good time back at work i actually said that was great and be safe as you want i think it is hot to have soldering oh thank you bucky i totally appreciate that oh yes go wash the dog well angela um I have a bandy safety drinking game. I do. I use lots of safety. I feel like it's very important. Um. Alrighty. Bye, baby. Ah, oh, sorry. No. Don't be sorry, my boys, at all. Okay. Promise to drink every time I say ouch. It'll probably be a lot. Okay. So I got my solder out. And... Oh, bye, Kev. I will see you on the Overwatches later, possibly tomorrow. We need to do some, like, grouping. I'm so sick of, like, solo queuing and stuff. Um, you got so shocked once when you were younger, so soldering is iffy for you. Oh, my God. That's so brutal. I've never been shocked before, but that so scares me. And, yes, better safe than sorry, Stupers. Okay. Doing the second... Yeah, see, now I can't smell it, and that makes me happy. Okay. So that one is done. I mean, I can still kind of smell it, like, a little bit. But I have my... Noish vapor thingies here, so it makes me feel safer. Um, hey Freefall, how are you doing? You put a fork into an outlet once. Oh my god, brutal. Okay, so this one, oh, I forgot my lighter. I mean, I guess I could use the heat gun, but I don't necessarily want to. Maybe I'll use heat gun. 
So yeah, both of them are attached nicely. So then I'm going to take a couple little pieces. This is my heat shrink tubing plastic. It is great for providing a good cover. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to push it over top of everything that I just soldered and heat shrink these. Oh, before I do that, I just wanna make sure and test that this works. I oh, forgot to cut this in, whatever. No, I'm gonna heat shrink it first. I trust that it works, I'm fine. All right. So my, oh no, I just took the bigger one. I need the smaller one. I mean, I feel like a heat gun would be fine at doing the heat shrink. Usually I just use a lighter. I think I might use a lighter. What is this? So this is a resin gemstone that I made with an LED and it's going to go on my cosplay bracer and I'm showing how to actually do it and then after you've done your soldering and your wiring to actually attach it all to your bracer and everything. Um, thank you for coming in and joining, Fritz. Um, you are soldering a new transformer into a motherboard and it just blew bad. Oh, that's so brutal. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, but that is super duper spooky. Ugh, this one does need the bigger one. Okay, so I'm just gonna go out into the living room and just grab a lighter really quick so I can just shrink this because I prefer doing it with a lighter. Um, you may need to move over a PC to type easier. So the LED is in the resin. Resin, yes. So the LED has already been placed into the resin. You can see here's another one. I asked if people wanted uh, red or blue, and they said blue, so we're doing blue. But I had a red one also, so you can see the LED is in the resin already. And I did that during the casting process about 20 minutes after it started setting. I waited until it got just a little bit thicker on the top and then I stuck an LED in and it sticks up straight. And that gives you perfect uh, use of the prongs to create your circuit and everything. Um, do you feel like your cost may be a lot better if you're more willing to work with soldering? I know it's... It, it, LEDs and lights don't make cosplay better. I don't want you guys to think that you have to add lights and stuff to have this super duper fancy cosplay. This is just if you do want to add lights and to do it like that, then this is this is how I add lights and stuff onto my cosplay costumes. Now you totally, totally don't have to do that. There's still beautiful costumes out there. Don't have LEDs. This is just if you would like to. Okay, I'll be back one, one second. So I got fire now. Got some fire. All right, you've been using USB plug-in to light lights. I mean, that's really cool that you've learned like how that you can do that as well. But I can understand if you were electrocuted on a motherboard, I mean, obviously soldering is gonna be a weird subject for you. All right, you're beginning to think 20 cats is better than one dog. Hilarious, I know I've got fire now, okay. So all I'm doing is just heat shrinking my heat shrink wraps. So I'm just taking the lighter and lighting it up to these and they are shrinking. Okay. So they've shrunk around, if you can see that. They've shrunk around the parts that I soldered just for some extra protection and everything. I sometimes you can use you can absolutely use electrical tape if you would like. I just prefer heat shrink wrap because I find it easier to use instead of having to do piece after piece after piece of tape. 
You're very advanced computer admin and system building, so you just use it as a bypass. Awesome, yeah. If you can find bypasses and stuff for your cosplay, absolutely. I just like, I don't know, I taught myself how to solder and how to do wiring and LEDs, and so I just actually find it kind of fun. So I'm just trying to take the end off of this guy right here without my fancy awesome wire cutters, and that totally sucks. Uh -huh. Okay, so I got the both ends off. Now I'm just going to test this with my battery just to make sure that I didn't do anything stupid with my wiring. Yep, yeah, so there you go. See? So good. Still lights up. Yay. LED works. I'll turn off the lights really quick so you can kind of... Oh, no. See, I've got this light here. I'll turn them off in a minute. I'll turn them off after everything's wired so you can see actually, like, how bright and pretty it is. It's very nice LEDs. Um, hey, it's the Cup Noodles. How are you doing? No, my wire cutter doesn't suck, Kane. It sucks using the scissors, and I wish I had my awesome, pretty wire cutter. Okay. So I'm going to grab out my resistor. So if I wanted to use multiple batteries, I can do that to get a brighter glow. I put my resistor always on the uh, green. I don't know why. That's just like where I want it. The green is the negative side. I just like my resistor on negative. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. You can put your resistor on either side of the wire, but I'm just going to get my resistor out, and what is the diameter LED that I use? Uh, this is the, I think it's the one millimeter LED, I think that's the one that it is, or the three, no, these are three millimeter LEDs, these are the three millimeters, um, do I have an extra, yeah, I do. I don't even know what color this is. It's just saying here. These are the three. These there are the three and five millimeter LEDs. I can't remember exactly which one this is. I have my ruler sticking around here somewhere. It's either my three or it's either a three or five millimeter LED. I can't remember. I think it could be the five millimeter LED. This one is. Let's see what this one is. Uh -huh. I'm actually really curious what color this is. Oh, it's white. Weird. I didn't even know that I had a white LED. Odd. Okay, yeah, so there's a white LED in here. So they come in, uh, they're very, very bright. Um, I didn't do it with these gems, but you actually can take just a little bit of a nice fine grit sandpaper and sand just the outside of the LED to diffuse it a little bit more so that you have a little bit more of a glow on it. Um, these ones are a little pinpointy. The ones that I put in here, I didn't sand or anything because I was doing them just for the sake of tutorials. But yes, yeah, so you can see these are kind of uh, pinpointy. So if you do take some sandpaper, it takes it from this and it makes it more like this and a little bit more glowy and ethereal, which is perfect for World of Warcraft costumes or Diablo or whatever. So, yes, there you go. White, weird. I'm going to put that back in, the back in the bag. I think it's the only white one that I have. So, I'm taking out my nice little resistor right here. It's my little resistor. So, Kane figured out last time exactly. I bought these resistors probably about like four years ago, and I don't actually remember. Kane figured it out judging by the colors on the. So you can see all these stripes. That tells you exactly what ohm resistor you have. So these are the ones that the man at YTech recommended for me with using LEDs. But yes, yes, it's a company with electrical shit. Yes, that's it. Um, being pretty does not mean awesome. <laughs> Kane. Thanks, Kane. It's like you can either be one or the other. You gotta be pretty or you can be awesome. I'd rather be awesome than pretty, to be honest, but that's just me. Um, let's see. 
Uh, you asked her if she ever needed some proper tools that she'd send some her way, and I never asked her. I think, no, I feel bad asking you for tools, Kane. I could, I could have used some tools, which would have been great, but I'm not going to ask you for something like that. That's silly. I just have to go buy some more tools. Um, hey, Art Lord, how are you doing? I am doing fantastic. How are you? I'm doing very good, and I hope you are doing good yourself. Okay. So, I'm just uh, wrapping this around the resistor right here. And then I actually think I'm going to take just a little bit more green so I can kind of do this in one, in one foul swoop. I'm taking a little bit more of the green right over here. About pretty... No, I don't! <laughs> Shut up, Drew. I'm not stupid. I do! Kate would never... Kate is our resident engineer and our uh, spirit connoisseur, our uh, delectable, fine, most interesting man in the world beverages connoisseur. I know that he didn't mean anything rude, but thank you so much for looking out for Drew. I mean, looking out for Kate and Drew. You are awesome. You look out for everybody on stream, and it is the best. Okay. So I just cut my couple of these around. I'm just doing this now. I'm going to do them both in one shot because I just find it easier. Um, yeah, Why am I wearing masks? Just because safety. I started not wearing a mask, and then there was a bunch of smoke, and it smelled like burning tires, and I got sad. So, um, let's see. Um, any ideas? Oh no, I don't, I missed, I missed the question. I am so curious, I missed the question. Fluffy, sick guy cosplay. Um, damn, I missed the question. Can you ask, oh, Marcosaurus, hello. Hello, Marcosaurus, yeah, it's Rodog, totally. Ah, I totally, totally missed your question, Spike. You were, um, yeah, you said any ideas and I totally missed it. Write your question again, because then I would love to see ideas. That was you. <laughs> okay. So I'm just getting... So I got the wire up here, and I'm just going to tie this to the other side here. Just because it's... I don't know. It's just easier to do them both at once. Get the solder out. Do them both at once. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Come here, little arm buddy. Grab your friend. There you go. All right. Get my same, same dishwashing gloves on. They're both the same hand, but I couldn't find my other gloves. Oh! How scary is a very, very Rolex today. It's hilarious. Oh, you were thinking last year you did a D2 Diablo mid takeover, and this year you might go full. Oh, okay, I've got to read the rest. I want to read the rest. Thank you, Drew, for sending me that comment. I just need to see the rest of it. So you say it's a DCT takeover. This year you might go full mal. So go, I think, if you would like to. Sorry, I can barely read Drew's thing because I'm trying to look at, I, I'm having a hard time clicking on the thing. So, well, it's getting dark. Taking TV to time to go game. Oh, you were asking you did a D2 transform last year at BlizzCon and you're thinking of doing a full mouth fail this year. Any suggestions? Absolutely. Um, first off, I love Diablo. I've already done two Diablo cosplays. Love me some Diablo. Mouth fail is one of the most classic villains that the Diablo series has ever faced. His armor is incredibly detailed, incredibly beautiful, and I I think you should rock it. I've actually, okay, this probably isn't true. I've, I'm sure there are a ton of men that have done Malfail. However, the majority of actually Malfail costumes that I have seen is uh, females. So it would be nice to see a full Malfail uh, rocking it out because I've seen a lot of women do a gender bend of it. So I think you should 100%. Um, never seen someone look so good in 
wearing a safety mask. Video game Luke has donated five dollars to the stream. Oh, did you? Why? I did, really? My my notifications. Something's going around my notifications, so I'm not too sure. Um, his armor is so heavy. Oh, I will. I will absolutely. Um, and Scott, like Mouth Ale is absolutely amazing. And you're doing Mouth Ale too? Awesome. No, I know you're not doing a gender brand, Spike Boy, but what I was saying is that I've only seen so many women do Mouth Ale, and I haven't seen actually male Mouth Ales. And it would be amazing to see his armor in like its full, huge sort of glory. So I definitely think that you should do this. Ah, I'm checking my gas. I feel so bad. You don't know I can keep doing it. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Um, so the guy told you wearing a mask wasn't necessary, by the way. I'm sorry to. Oh, thank you, CK Cosplay. Oh, you can't say we can't let your go fall bad. Okay, night, Huskillius. Thank you, CK Cosplay, for um, bringing in the science. So, yes, thank you, Modern, for getting on top of that. And I love this. I know. We do need a respirator remote. Oh, my God, yes. Yes, where's Just Great? Okay, we need to tell him we need a respirator remote. Okay. So, I'm just... Damn it. It's hard to hold it with the wrong hand. All right, there we go. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to stop for a second. Oh my god. Ugh. I can't. I can't even. Oh my god. Is that what I got that it said? I gotta take this off. Holy moly. I can't even. Holy moly. No way. Oh. Thank you so much, TwitchCon! Oh my god! That is like so amazing! Oh my god! Thank you! That means like the world to me! Thank you so much! Oh my god! Such insane hype! Yes, yeah, so I'm taking things off! I just like, I, I know, I almost like burnt myself because I was like so shocked. Thank you so much. Oh my god, TwitchCon, like, out there, amazing. Oh my god, that is so generous. Thank you so, 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 so much. You are just absolutely incredible. Thank you. Like, I can't, I can't even say how grateful I am for the support. Thank you so much. That is so awesome. Oh, thank you. Yay! Cheers! Hooray! And we got, we got the, um, the heat gun emote, but we need an even crazier one for something like that. Oh, Kane, you'll drink to that. Cheers! Yeah! You got Kane drinking now? That is so awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. And now I've got something in my eye. Something just flew into my eye and I don't know what it is. Oh my god. It's probably just my hair. Ow. I got too excited. Ow. I totally got too excited. Oh my god. Ow. Oh, I gotta go look at the mirror. This actually, like, really hurts. <laughs> oh my god. Cliff, thank you, 30. That's so awesome. Yay. Hey, Adrius. How are you doing? You are absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that you have come in and that you joined. Yes, I uh, just needed a couple new mods for 
the end of the, uh, just, you know, just starting needing some new mods. Drew's been just really amazing. I started needing new, okay, I gotta get up. I gotta, I gotta go. Something on my eye. I'm so sorry. I got so excited. I'll be back. One second. I'm like now like crying like I've got tears coming down so I will be back in one second. I will be okay. I just got really excited and then something just like mad stabbed me in the eye. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. Like, something literally, like, I got so excited, and something literally, like, flew into my eye. Bong diggity cosplay, hello! Thank you for coming and tuning in. Oh my god, Mexican apple juice, like, no, I need some Mexican apple juice right now. Oh my god. But yeah, something literally, like, <laughs> let's get back to soldering. I got really excited and then all I felt was this like massive stab in my eye. Not tonight, but Thursday there's drinking. Cassia, that's not true. Fridays. If I don't work on Fridays, that's when I actually have Friday time. You love fire. That is really good. I'm glad you like fire. See? There's fire. Did I make you happy? So as you can see, like my... I wake up and everything went everywhere. Oh my god. But thank you so much. Oh my god, it's awesome. Okay. So getting back to doing our soldering and everything. Shots, yeah. Is that for the red worm? No, it's for heating my stuff. It's for uh, doing my uh, heat shrink wrapping and stuff. I'm so sorry. I had to get up, guys. I'm so sorry. It was just... I got really excited and something got my eye. I am sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm soldering the next side right here. So I got both of my little sides for my resistor all soldered up and everything. Um, fire, yes. Yeah, I know, I totally should be wearing goggles too. Later, Spike Boy, I am so sorry that, oh, you're going to leave me to my own canards tonight. Yeah, hit me up on Facebook later, totally. And uh, if you do end up uh, starting to make my fail, send me some progress pictures for sure. One of my favorite cosplays. Yes. Her dishwashing gloves really could help with her. Maybe. I don't know. They're all I have, and I don't want to touch the lead. Okay. So I'm just uh, stripping this wire here. And then, oh, I should take these stupid gloves off. So as you can see, I just soldered my resistor on the center right there. Please focus. Let's do it this one. 
There you go. So I soldered my resistor onto, what am I doing? Onto the center right there. As you can see, I'm going to cover it with all of my heat shrink and everything as well. Sponge. I don't know. It's just got like whatever without so I don't know. I one of my solders I have does say lead on it, so mm, thick. So I'm going to check. Um, everybody always gets on me about being safe. I like being safe. Looks unsafe. It's fine. So I'm just checking, and yes, it still lights up. Good. So my wires and everything are fine. Yay. Light up. Hooray. See? So it is still lighting up. We are good to go. I'm going to cut off a few pieces of my tubing here. Just... I'm going to roll this up over here. So one onto the one side and one onto the other just so I can protect it. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Radio Man. Thank you for the follow. Oh, bye, Cassie. Good night. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I have a little vaccine prone. You hate safety? I'm, I am very safety prone. I like safety. So, um, on night, Caspian. So glad you are able to come and to join. Okay. So, I am going to now grab my lighter. And I'm just going to heat these bad boys up. So, got some fire going. Mm-hmm. All right, heated up my heat shrink right there on that side. And do the other side. Whew. Okay, ouch. That was hot, 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 hot wires. Now I'm just testing just to make sure it still works. Uh -huh. Yes, still works, still glows. Because I have the resistor in, it's not going as bright, but it means that I can use multiple batteries if I want to make it actually be super deeper bright. Ew, fire! Um, CK, you learn to protect yourself if you have some from Totally, I know, eh? In theory, you should be sober right now. In theory. Oh my god. Okay. So... Now I'm going to do the soldering of my little switch right here. Now this is the part that uh, I hate the most soldering. It is the absolute most frustrating is doing these little switches because the little things are so, so small. Radio Man, you came in late. Did I put the bulbs into the gem during casting or is it removable? I put them in during casting. So here's a, another one that I was showing. I casted up the resin into my mold. I made uh, the I made the preliminary shape, used uh, clear resin with dye to uh, mold and cast it. And while it was setting, I stuck the uh, LED into the resin. Just because I personally find it easier to do it like that, it's kind of a, it just holds the LED in, no muss, no fuss, and there's nothing else that you need. Um, is it Kane who's drinking and she says, ouch? Okay, yeah, I think it is Kane who's drinking. Oh, you're going to be entering lurk mode until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, Andreas, you are amazing. As always, I wish you would be in chat more. Love you, honey. I'm so glad that you came to join. Oh, Twitch fam, yay! Okay. So, I'm getting my little switch out. So, these little switches, if you can see right here, they have little prongs on the bottom. And you need to solder one wire to this and then another wire on here so that when you turn it, 
on and off, you can cut the power to the circuit so that you have control. You could theoretically just solder on a battery pack to your gemstone at this point and then just remove the battery, but I personally don't like doing that. So the only thing that's a little bit difficult is, um, oh, thanks, Adrius. I will try to keep up the good work. How did I diffuse the light within the gem so it's not obvious it's a single light in there? So in this one, I did not. I just stuck it in just for the sake of uh, stream purposes. I did it really quick. I wasn't really thinking about it. But like I was showing earlier, if you take... So here's another LED that I have. This is a white one I just found in the bag. So you can see that's pinpointish. I don't think I have any like on hand at the moment. But if you take a bit of sandpaper, fine grit sandpaper, like medium to fine grit sandpaper, and if you sand the outside of the plastic, make sure you don't sand too far so that you get into like the circuitry and everything. But if you sand the outside of the plastic, then you can uh, get a much more diffused light because you're adding this sort of frosted coating on the outside. So that is one of the techniques that people have used of how to diffuse the light. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, modern still is on point in remote usage though. Totally. What does a fox say? Are you going to start singing? Are you guys going to start singing? Sandpaper. Yes, for sure. No, 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 radio man. No, sorry for the questions. That's what this place is about. It's about learning. It's about questions. It's about all of that stuff. So that is okay, modern. You can deal with work. So yeah, so sandpaper just to give the outside of the LED a slightly uh, diffused look to it. Okay. So I'm holding my little guy holding the little switch. Now these are just hard because the prongs themselves are just small. You don't really have the type of ability to like, oh, make sure you also put your heat shrink wrap around first because you will not have an opportunity to do it after once it is attached to the thing. And I just dropped my wire. Okay. So I'm putting my heat shrink wrap around it first while my little guy right here is holding my switch. Um, the electrocution becomes dangerous around 50 volts. You need to learn how big costs so before you go this kind of magic. Way too fast or you know, It's super easy. Look at I'm doing this while laughing and getting stuff in my eye and whatever, you know, like it is. It really is easy peasy once you just sort of get the hang of it. Okay, so I'm just going to place it next to one of the little prongs. It's, it's better with wires because you can wrap them around, but I love how teeny tiny these switches are. So I've got my wire, I've got my helping hand buddy just holding my wire on top of the little prong, and now I'm going to start soldering again. Um... It's, uh, let's see. Vader, you love booze, you need to make that pie in you. That's too bad, but soon, someday soon, honey, you will be able to. You feel like putting Elmer's glue on the outside would be pretty good at diffusing light too. Sure, there's also some sprays that Krylon offers that are actually frosting sprays for glass, like in bathrooms and stuff. You can definitely try those too. I've just used sandpaper because it's just cheap and easy, right? Hey, Tin Man, how are you doing? What up? Yay! Um, okay, so just going to do my best to solder this onto here. I think that got it. I think that got it. These little switches are like just the just so frustrating because they are just so so small. 
I'll try and lift this so I can show you guys. Uh, uh, let's see, I would love it. Oh, what are those? See if this can focus. So, still focusing on me, stupid autofocus. But if you can kind of see how tiny those prongs are and how small this solder point has to be, I hate that. It is the most frustrating for me. Okay, so it did. So I was able to get that on here. It has soldered and it has attached. Oh, thank you so much, Instagram Doodles. Happy 150th Canada. Yeah, happy 150th Canada. F yeah, it is our Canadian anniversary 150 years. I'm actually a little sad. Thank you so much, Instagram Doodles. I'm actually a little sad because I'm going to be in Tokyo on the anniversary, which is actually kind of sad because I am like a... Actually, I'm going to uh, do this after because I'm a Canadian and I don't know I'm really a little bit disappointed that I'm not going to be in the country but Tokyo is going to be super crazy awesome so that's always exciting but I will be here but thank you Instagram noodles F yeah celebration Canada all right okay so I'm gonna do this one more time and then I'm going to take this this is my other wire that I cut and just strip, and I'm going to sew it to the prong next to the one I just sewed. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, muffle, muffle, muffle. I know, I'm sorry. It's my uh, Darth Vader voice I got going up in here right now. It's my Vader voice, Vader. All right. I'm just positioning this on top. Ah, come on. You're not being very helpful, helping hands. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Nailed it. Let's do this. Huh? Mira, hello! How are you doing? Don't use the crown paint, and yes, you're used to spray paint. It's really easy to mess up if you don't have steady hands. Pada Poopa! No way! Okay, that's awesome. George, what happened to no underground party? I know, is it? A, that was bad. That was bad dancing. I promise I'm not gonna dance like that in a club. I'm sorry. Oh, that was embarrassing dancing. So, got that other one soldered on there. I always wait like a moment for it to cool slightly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's stuck onto my gloves. All right. So, I got this on here. And now I am just going to draw. You see much worse dancing than that around here. It's just like, I don't know. Da dancing. I'm not good at dancing. Please don't make me dance. It's a horrible thing. I'm just not. I'm just not good at dancing. Hey, Captain. How are you doing? Good morning from Canada. Oh, Vader, that's actually not that stupid an idea to go to a Canadian embassy like one day on the uh, on actual Canada Day. That's actually not that stupid. I mean, actually check that out. Oh, hello, Jeopardy. It's a company of time to go back to Final Fantasy. Awesome. You have a good rest of your night in stick up noodles. That's the final fantasy. Oh, thank you, CK Ghostway, for the cheer. Yay, look at the bits fall. They're all over the place. Hooray. Thank you, CK Ghostway. You are awesome, girl. All right, so let's. I just want to test this really quick before I continue. I mean, I should cut some of these wires down. They shouldn't be this long. Because they're going to be under... Ugh, whatever. It's fine. Can I cut this down just a bit? Just because they're going to be under my bracer. We are almost at... Oh, thank you, Psychic Love you, girl. 
Never seen a person soldering that way clothes. Use a soldering iron during your apprenticeship. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just like, are you talking about the fact that I'm wearing a mask because I like to be safe and protective? Are you talking about the fact that I'm like, yeah, I'm in this like flowy outfit? <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to take this off. Oh, I wish I had my wire cutter with the gun. Okay. So I just want to try this before I put my heat shrink wrap on. Got to make sure those two things are separate. Let's take a look here. Okay. So green is negative. This is positive. All right. So, yeah, look, see, you can just see, see, look at this camera here, this camera, see the glow. Look, so off, on, off, on, off, on. So we got it. We got our circuit all well and good. This works. So I'm going to just put my heat shrink wrap here. <laughs> Mask and gloves. I know. See, it's always so torn. So torn when we talk about the solder. Half of the people are like, good for you being safe. And the other half are like, I've been soldering for so long. And like, I never wear masks and gloves like that. And I don't know. It's a torn, it's a torn feeling about it. Um, uh, next should be next Thursday. So yes, Vader, you come back and you come join and you better take care of yourself. Okay, honey. All right. So just heating this up and heating my heat shrink wrap. Okay, GG. It's all, all working here. Just make sure. Uh, damn it! I screwed up. I totally, totally screwed up. I may be able to like salvage my screw up, but what I meant, no. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, this all just works so well. Fuck. I mean, frick, I mean, damn it. Whatever, I don't care, I'm mad. All right, this has just gone to waste. We can salvage these wires right here. I will salvage this wire, but I'm gonna have to solder that all again. So, what I was trying to explain about armor before, I acted like a total idiot and screwed up, and he's brain. <laughs> she must be protected. Oh, modern. Aren't you just the sweetest? You never wear masks and gloves and you solder. I'm related. Can you tell me what this tour shape love is on your deck? I know, eh? Oh, hello, station. How are you doing? Okay, so why I made the hole in the first place, because I'm a total freaking idiot, is that I attached this on. But let's take a look at this. This is why you create your hole in your armor piece first. Look. Oh no. Oh no. It's not going to fit because I screwed up. So, while you are planning your stuff accordingly, you should have already fed through your wires. Yes. Hooray. Now my wires are fed through and I can continue on with the process through the bracer of what I was doing. So, I already screwed up, so let's take another stupid switch and deal with this again. Damn, I'm so pissed. I always, like, make some mistake every time. There's always, like, one thing that I do and then I have to redo it. So, I'm gonna just get this wire off right now. So I fed it through my bracer, so it is through my bracer. Uh, hey, Berserker Works, how are you doing? Aw, thanks, Jackie Brown. I totally appreciate that. You can, like, only see my eyes this stream, so thank you. Oh, I'm glad you like my eye makeup. Um, yeah, I know, a fail emote? Totally. That is, uh, that is definitely... I like there's always some one stream every stream 
It's always one thing. By doing this wrong, I reinforce why I, the rest of us are watching to prove how important it is. This is why I wanted to do this stuff, actually how you attach it to armor pieces specifically, because there are steps that you need to go through to learn. So Berserker Works, we're doing an LED tutorial part two, but I'm showing you actually how to put them onto an armor piece and the steps that you go through, feeding it through. I'm gonna show you how I hide the wires and everything, just using Warbla on them, so yes. But I just made a mistake, Berserker Works. And Station, I'm so glad that you came and joined. I fell, Brad. You always come on with there's a screw. I totally did just screw up. And I'm just like kind of pissed that I totally did just, just screw up. But that's okay. It wasn't a big deal. It was just, you know, it happens, right? Yeah. All right. So all I need to do is just solder this part again to my switch because that's why it doesn't fit through the hole. It is too big for the hole. All right. Okay. Ugh, just dropped it right on my placement. It's still good. Um... Hey, yay, for sure. I ugh. Now I'm burning my heat shrink plastic. You too, fam. Just left you to barbecue for Father's Day here for the hobby. Oh, awesome station. I'm so glad you had a lovely weekend. That is so nice. Okay. So we're doing this again. Okay, the one there, where is my other thing? Oh man, this one's getting shorter and shorter. Whatever, it is fine. Ah, oh, you should have told me this, so you never would know it. I totally did make a mistake. I for sure, like, I didn't mean to, but I definitely uh, screwed up with how I assembled this. I just started making a circuit and I assembled it all without thinking. All right, I'm like out of red wire after this whole debacle. So I'm gonna have to get a green. And even though the green is attached to it, the green is attached to the red, which means that it is my positive side. Um. See, there's some new mods. Yes! Oh yeah, Modern was made a mod after uh, the hilarious Lizzie debacle last stream. It was completely awesome. It was super duper funny. Um, You just finished playing Sushi Go and Go and Roll. What is that? Things are well weeding. <laughs> What is Will Wheaton doing? What's Star Trek have to do with this stuff? It's crazy. Um, I've never even heard of this. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, we got some new mods. Um, Drew has obviously been just a completely fantastic mod, but um, just in case Drew's got family things or he's got stuff that he has to do or early work or whatever, it was... Uh, Necessary to have a couple more people be able to step up and whatnot, so. Uh, all right. Okay, we're doing this. We're getting this done. So, I'll take this one off and it's on. Good, good. And this one, I'm so mad that I didn't feed it through before. It was like such nice soldering also. Okay. Um, you got the end of the reprogress so all the timeouts. Yeah, totally. It got pretty aggressive and uh, there's a couple uh, Gallo picked on. So figured may as well uh, bring in one of the ones that got picked on. 
And uh, see uh, how some mod justice goes on there. So just super fun times. All right. Oh, okay. So it is tabletop games from a show. Oh, awesome. That's wicked. I will have to check it out. I haven't played any good tabletop games in a while. I love tabletop games. Come on, just stay on there. just isn't sitting right. Yeah. I hate this part so much. I did it so nicely the first time. Whatever, it's done. Yeah. That was super frustrating. Um, by the way, do you think I might dislike your mother when the first rolls around taking one of your best day staff away for dead days? I know, I know. I'm so sorry. But mommy is awesome and having Fun times, Japan. Okay, so I'm going to take this off for right now because I don't, I don't need to do like that much more soldering. So yes, Japan, good times. I'm excited. Oh, I, I talked to my mom, and so I was curious what you guys uh, think of about this. But I talked to my mom. And I said that she should appear on stream in Japan. Would you guys like to meet her? Is that something you'd be into is having my mom like show up on stream? Because I thought that would be actually kind of fun. So let me know if you guys think that that would be actually kind of fun to meet mommy over stream. <laughs> I told her, too, I was like, you gotta come live. Because I said I would totally stream from... Uh, <laughs> from Japan so yes for sure you should uh so I was like mom come on you gotta get on stream she's like I don't know how it works and I was like it'll be fine you can just sit there and you talk to people she's like I don't get it I don't understand you gotta you gotta give me preparation I was like okay it'll be fine <laughs> so yes yes mom stream totally <laughs> Oh, yes, for sure. Okay, I'm glad that you guys would like that. I think it would be pretty fun. Okay, so I'm just going to... Where did my lighter... Oh, it's right, like, in front of me. Do not burn. Please don't burn me. Okay. Ah. Alrighty. Okay, so that's on there. Hmm. No, I need the smaller one. And then the other side I've got to use uh, tape on because I forgot to put the little heat shrink tube on before I soldered it. Because I got so frustrated that I had done this wrong. So whatever. Anyway. Um. Ew. Ew, gross. <laughs> like... Come oh, on. Give me a little more credit than that. Anyway, um, 
Oh, good times. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I'll share this with chat. <laughs> Literally just got a, uh, when am I going to Japan? I'm going to Japan on the uh, 28th, 29th, 29th, on the 29th is when I fly out to Japan. So I'm very, very excited. It's going to be super fun. Oh, and yes, chat. So I literally uh, stream for your Misaki bar when I get over it. Oh my God, for sure. That'd be so crazy. Um, I want to go so bad. And so I'm very excited about this. I got a really great opportunity and everything. Oh, I also just got a message from somebody named Indexfex who said that he would give me $150 for a picture of me in tight leggings. So... That is classy to the max. Yay! It's always a fun time on stream. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, so I'm actually putting tape on this side. I shouldn't have. I should have done my, like, heat shrink wrap, but I totally forgot about it. So, Andy for Andy Mom turns up at the airport daily. No, she is the one who's, like, on top of it. I'm... The one, I got him covered. <laughs> you dick. You look great in leggings. Way to go, modern. Do it. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, I know I'm always in leggings. You guys have literally seen me in leggings. Like, already tonight. I'm wearing my Arthas leggings. Like, always in leggings. I literally just posted my Mercy leggings on Instagram, which is just super funny. But anyway, whatever. Okay. So, no, Mom is the one who's, like, punctual at airport stuff and whatever. I am the one who is uh, completely terrified of flying, so, like, really scared. Like, to the point where I, like, go and talk to the pilots before a flight. It's really embarrassing. Anyway, um, so I'm just... Oops. Checking this out. All oh, right, red is po red is positive, green's negative. But this was a green wire, so I got confused. Okay, yes, it's lit. It's good. Whatever. So we fixed our problem, which sucked. Okay. So, um, leggings is greater than pants. Leggings are greater than pants. Yeah, Aura, you totally missed the craziness. So yes, modern. Uh, got knighted as a mod. We need somebody to rein in uh, some of the other mods. Last time they were being, being really crazy and making ban uh, hammers all over the place. So we got uh, someone to keep them in check too. Um, Yay, Aura's here. Hooray. Take Ativan. I know that's what everybody says is take Ativan for sure. But um, I don't know. It just doesn't work. I just get really uh, nuts about it. Like... It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just one of those things. Okay, so you can see here is my gem, and this is where my gem is going to fit onto. So I'm going to first get my glue gun up and going. So I'm not going to, I know this sounds kind of like dumb, but um, just normally I would with, and with all of my other armor pieces, this is my coin cell battery holder. Normally, I would solder on my coin cell battery holder to put all of my coin cell batteries in there. On like 90% of uh, bracers and everything, it works fine. These ones I made a little bit tight. So because of that fact, I'm literally going to just um, use like my little coin cell battery right here, take some tape and tape my coin cell batteries to the ends of these uh, wires right here, like this, so that it still goes on and off. Can you see that? But this just sort of, because it's just the battery, I'm gonna put a bunch of tape where it just slips in a little bit nicer into my wrist. Every other piece of armor and bracers that are a bit bigger, I would be using my battery holder. So that's just me personally right here is just using electrical tape and taping the batteries onto it like so. Aw, night, Drew, for sure. Aw, bye, Fluffy. Bye, I will see you next time. Um, not being creepy, you have a bunch you can give me, assuming I'm leaving from Calgary. Oh, I've got, don't worry about it. I, because of like my fear of flying and stuff, I have like prescriptions and whatever with my doctor. It's not about that. It's just, it, um... It just doesn't work for me. I still get scared and I cry and I have to talk to pilots beforehand and 
ask them if they have enough fuel and if they've been flying for a long time and stuff. Like, I'm not kidding. It's really embarrassing. Anyway, um, hopefully Eric pulls this away. It does. So this is what I mean. Drew has to jet out. He's got to go bed. He's got early morning work stuff. So it's really good to have a couple more mods helping out with everything. You volunteers tribute for sure. If you're ever here, lol, hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, Aura, awesome. Oh, thank you, Mario, for the follow. I totally appreciate that. I'm getting really hot. I have to take this sweater off. Like, it is really, really hot in here. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm getting incredibly hot. I've got to take it off. Um, okay. You wouldn't survive my husband's job. He has to fly every week. Yeah, no, I would not. I would not be a good flight attendant. I would not be good at that stuff. So I'm just grabbing. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm just grabbing my, um, glue gun. And I am plugging that in and heating that up. I am not, Angela. You sell down, okay? And then I am going to work his calling. It's Monday morning. No, Joust. Oh, no. And then he started watching Jamie Oliver go and run see videos. Awesome. Ah, this is done, but do I stick the wires on opposite sides or is it on the same side of the battery? Oh, Perfect. This is a great, um, you can see this right here. Thank you for asking questions, CK Cosplay. So uh, you stick them on opposite sides of the battery. If you look at the battery right here, there it's an Energizer one. Do, do, do. Let's get to focus in. So three volt battery, just a coin cell because it's nice and thin and fits under armor well. Plus side and negative side. Uh, on these, the little coin cell battery holders, there's two prongs as well. One is the positive and one is the negative side prong. So it's always two wires either sides. So just one second. I'm just going to turn around and look and see if I can find a glue stick. Because I have enough glue sort of in there, but I can't. I just need one. Move my craft drawers. Been, I bought a pack of glue sticks and I have no idea where they've gone and I've been looking for them all day. I cannot find them anywhere. And it is incredibly frustrating. Pity see that guy should fade out, Angela, please. Oh my god. I know, I'm always wearing leggings. Like, and the amount of times that you see me on the floor and wearing leggings and everything is just ridiculous. So, yes. Yes! Because that. Whoa. Things are falling over. I hit my camera stand. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Alright. So I've just unplugged this. This can move over. Still like super hot. All these things can kind of get the F out of here. I'm just going to put them on the floor. <laughs> put these over. I will need that later. Let's move some of this stuff over. So I found some more glue sticks. Hooray. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick and put in there just testing to see oh it's still it's a little hot but it's still like mild right now so I'm gonna wait um modern has to adult now going to miss the comments oh Martin can still make some comments if he wants to 150 each time right donation call me no problem totally eh do I use, mostly use uh, button switches to control my LEDs? Yeah, I much prefer using 
uh, little switches to control my LEDs just because they're super small. Um, they're just tiny, easy little switches that kind of fit in everywhere in armor. So I love these to control them because I don't want my bat like batteries, no matter how you cut it, are expensive. Like even if you buy no name brand batteries, batteries are always expensive. And so I don't want to be going through so much batteries because I don't have a switch or some way to turn everything on and off. Um, so where did I get the battery holder? So, oh, station specifically, every single item that you have seen me use today, as well as everything that I've got on my material list, I actually got at Ytech Direct in Kelowna. So there, I got all of this stuff locally. So if you are interested in this, you can actually go down to Ytech Direct because I know that you live in the same city as me. So yes, it is all local stuff. Um... It's only been three days and can you remember the person from last year copy past those whole sentences? That was um, Pixel. That was Pixel who was doing like the crazy craziness. So that was the fun stuff. Yeah, the whole paragraphs. Pixel was doing like the crazy craziness. Um, yeah, it was Pixel. Yeah, we saw him here earlier. Pixel was here earlier and he was here for some drama, <laughs> whatever, because he was he was enjoying his popcorn and checking everything out. <laughs> oh, good times. I know. At least my bookshelves are probably going to say, I saw that, Brad. I saw that Richard G. Semi. That was so brutal. That was awful. Um, yeah, cheap batteries do not last as long, for sure. So it is definitely... Um, you found battery holders on Amazon. Search 3-volt battery holder, for sure. So even good batteries can be cheap if you know what to look for. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I've, everywhere that I've seen, like, batteries have been decently expensive. Like, a pack of 3-volt batteries is going to cost me $10, $12, something like that. And to me, I just don't want to keep having to buy those and replace them and stuff, right? So... Uh, Hobby Lakes Interior Electronics, I will have to check that one out too, Station. So the first thing that I'm just going to do, so I've got my gemstone on my bracer, and the first thing that I am going to do is I'm actually going to use my glue gun, and I'm going to glue the gemstone to the bracer. This is literally just like a last sort of like reinforcing thing because I actually use Warblood to connect my gemstones and make them look all pretty, but this is just to like reinforce it and make sure that I am like, I don't know, that I'm, that it's not going anywhere. I'm just glue gunning away as super, uh, super classy as this is, eh? Glue gunning my gemstones to my bracer. Good times. Okay, so I'm just looking at it to position it in there. Okay, good, awesome. Alrighty, good times. So I got my gemstone now just glued to my bracer. It's nothing like, you know, super special or anything. But then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to, so I go to all of my wires and my LEDs in the inside. That's what you had done, Angela, for sure. Yeah, I got a pink, little pink hot glue gun. Uh, 30 or 40 cents for heat to send me some information. Yeah, 30, that'd be awesome. Um, move my magnifying glass to the right. Uh... Okay, that's my right. Um, it was I was probably gonna knock it over. Um, whatever you need to do to get that gemstone to stay totally over. Uh, you yeah, guys seriously haven't been around for a while, so these Sunday streams are we making again? We're doing an LED tutorial, but like showing exactly how to get it from starting to solder to having your attached piece. So I just made a bracer. And I was doing that just to experiment with all this stuff. So, just so you guys could see exactly what it's like to the finished product. So, if you can see in the inside, I'm starting to sort of like, uh, sort of fold my wires over, trying to get them sort of flat. I like to fill this little hole inside here with glue as well to make sure that my wires are not coming loose 
or really going anywhere. So before like I completely commit and break out the warbler, I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna just check it. I always like to check my stuff, make sure that all works. Wait, wait, wait. Red side, which is also a green one, is the positive. And this one is the negative. <laughs> yep, so you can see it works. Yay, everything's in good. We did good, fam. We made our awesome light up stuff. Oh, good night to scream. Miss you, honey. Good night. Um, have I looked at Princess Og for the packs of button batteries? Yeah, I'll definitely have to check there as well. Hooray, we did it. So I'm just gluing just that little hole I stuck some glue in just to make sure that everything's all nice there. So obviously, this bracer is going to be worn on my wrist, right? So I want to make sure that the wires and everything stay as flat as I can possibly get them underneath. So I am going to get them as flat as I can, except for the one thing that's not going to be as flat will be the little switch, but that's going to go sort of, it'll be hidden underneath the bracer, but it's going to go kind of in the the highest point of the bracer in here where it's not gonna be obtrusive soon. You can't even see the switch in there, but it's still like on, do you know what I mean? So, um, you're a man of class and distinction. <laughs> Almost snorted your eye your nose. I love that Brad's got his ride. Brad loves his ride, I love ride too. And we were just talking about that, Brad. You missed the uh, conversation, the uh, rye versus um, rum versus all sorts of different types of rum conversation. So essentially what I'm trying to do just right here, so I'm leaving these two little end parts like out so I can connect my battery to them, but I'm trying to get everything essentially as flat as I possibly can. So I'm just sort of flattening it all, smushing it all up in there. And then I am going to, I'm just gonna cut myself a nice little piece right here. I went and restocked on supplies and bought some more Warbla. That was way too big of a piece. So my glue gun's all good. So I'm just cutting myself a nice little thin sheet of Warbla. Not a big deal, doesn't, you can see there's still like the product codes on it. So I'm just cutting this nice little thin sheet of Warbla and I'm going to re-plug in. I don't need the glue gun really anymore. I'm going to, whoops, oh my heat gun was already plugged in. Well then I can leave the glue gun plugged in if I need to. Um, yay, LEDs. Hey, Sparkle Stash. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm glad that you came to join. Rye and Seven. Let's see. Rye is a proper Canadian drink. Yes, yeah, see, I like rye and ginger. I like, like, crown and ginger. I find that tasty. I feel like ginger ale kind of complements the rye the best. Okay, so I have everything sort of is smooshed in as I possibly can get it in here. As you can see, it's all just sort of flattened in here. All of my wires, I'm just smooshing that all in. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to heat it up nice and hot and place it over top of my wires and smooth it as much as I possibly can. So not only is it keeping all of the wires in there nice, you only have beer and you left it in your truck so it's warm. Oh no. But beer is good. Beer is like my fave. I'm not a big uh, wine fan. As much as I appreciate wine, I do. I went to a lot of wineries with my dad. He used to be really into wine. Um, I'm not a big wine fan, much more of a craft beer fan. All right. Okay. So I've heated this all nice and molten and I'm just going to gently place it on, ah, 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 it's so hot. Oh my God, it's so hot. Damn you, Warblow, why are you so hot? 
I am just placing it nicely on the inside on top of my wires and flattening it out as well as I possibly can. So I'm just pasting it on top of the wires, just trying to get it as nice and as flat as it can be. Um, Beer's your favorite too? Yeah, totally CK Cosplay. Like, and I love like good, like my favorites are either winter ales or really nice like apricot wise and like summer ales. Those are some of my absolute favorite. Hi, hi. Yes, of course. How's it going today? It is going super good. We're having super fun. So you can see I've got my bracer on. Feels great. It's all nice. And you can, you can't even, you can kind of see it just a little bit. We'll tuck it down just even just a little bit right there. But you can really sort of barely see my little switch in the inside. So the last thing Oh no, well not the last thing, but so the last thing with this sort of this part that I do, like I said, I um, can, I just gotta turn this on position. Like I said, you can put a coin cell battery pack like this one into your bracer if you would like, but personally, I uh, prefer just taping up the coin cells to it. Okay, that's the right side. Cause both the wires are green now, so I totally forgot. I personally like just taping up my clean cells in the inside, where is this other one, so that uh, it just slips in very nicely to the, uh, into the bracer. Uh -huh. You can also, so you can see this is on, so I'll show you this, so you can see the brightness right here with it, uh, just, oops. So you can see it just with the one battery, like so. Here's what happens when you stack two batteries on top of each other. Oops, did I do this the right way? Oh no, maybe this one battery is dead. I thought I had another bat. Oh no, that battery just died. I must have left it on. That is too bad. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Okay, we're one battery, batterying it. Too bad. Okay, so now I know that this is the, I was gonna do two, but I only have this one battery left. That's too bad. If you stack two batteries on top of each other, it glows a lot brighter. We have the resistor in here so that the LED will not overload or anything. So I'm just going to take this on. Um, you like double IPAs because they are strong and bitter. No, I do not like the bitter. Kane just loves alcohol, we know this. Except you're drinking water. Good for you, Aura. So am I. See, we're water buddies. Um, nice try. I know. It sucked. I know. I was sad. It was dead. It's okay. So all I'm doing is just uh, taping these wires to the batteries right now. I love having holders. It is... Uh, oops, I crossed my wires. Sorry. It is better and more professional to have holders, but just in um, ugh, just in areas like these bracers where they are super duper thin, it's uh, nice to um, have just the coin cell sort of slip in. Wow, this tape is like industrial masking tape. I accidentally crossed my wires over, and if you do that, the battery won't light. Hmm. Burgers have stouts, anybody? Yeah, see, I've never been as big into stouts. It's too, like, it's too heavy. It's too nutty for me. Like, they're just, they're a little bit too heavy. Okay. So, yes, like this. So we're going to tape the first one on, and then we're not going to cross it over. All right. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna do the second side. There it is. It's all good. We got it. All right. So I'm just gonna add another. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Rocket Hulk. So I'm just gonna add one more little piece of tape over top of this, just to make sure everything's all nice. 
and all good. Oh, we do have magic glue gun. That's awesome. Get us. Okay, so there you go. So you can see. So my coin cell battery pack just fits like because I didn't actually. I just made it this sort of nice flat little thing. My my own homemade one. It just fits nicely inside my bracer so that I have it lit, but I'm not. I don't have something huge and bulky. And then with my little switch right here, I can turn on and turn it off. Normally, because I've got the resistor in here, I would use two batteries stacked on top of each other so that it's really bright and brilliant and beautiful. But because my other batteries are clearly dead, <laughs> I can only do the one right now. So the gem is just sat stuck here lazily on with um, glue gun. So I'm going to actually now just finish off the gem so that it looks nice and like it has its own pretty little setting. So I'm going to get some of my edging. Hmm, I need my fatter edging. Let's see if there's some fat edging in here. Yeah, this stuff looks pretty fat. Okay, so whenever I put gems onto my cosplay, for example, with my Jupiter, I like to have my gems have a warbless setting, like they were placed into this metal setting and then put on. I do not like gems just sitting there and hanging around there. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you like my leggings? Thank you so much, Sparkle Stash. Totally appreciate that. Um, so yes, like I like there being a nice setting on my armor. So you can see the setting that goes around these gemstones. That's how I like to have gemstones. Here's an example, and this was because my gem popped off and I had a replacement one in my bag and I just glue gunned it on at a con. But you can see a gem that doesn't have a setting with it. There's just, to me, a small little level of detail that is missing. So I always like to place a setting around gemstones or whatever, just so that it gives it that like step up. So that's what we're doing right now. You take some fatter-ish warbless strips and we're going to create a nice setting for our gem that we just made light up so it's good if they're fatter you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna unplug this glue gun because it is gonna burn me but so it's good if the strips are sort of fatter depending on the width of your gem so this is a nice fat strip so i'm just going to cut the tip I always like to cut it in small, slight little angles because it is going to be on a diamond shape. And I just heat it up. Ah, oh, I'm totally missing something because you're actually watching me. Aw, oh, thank you. Um, fatter-ish warbler strips. All warbler strips are beautiful and equal. <laughs> They're so funny, Aura. That's right, they are. All of the strips are beautiful and awful. Okay, so, I but I am using fatter-ish warbler strips depending on the gem and the setting. So I am just heating the edge of the little plate that I made. And sticking this on. Okay, I usually do one side at a time instead of going all the way around. So it's all boobly and ugly right at the moment. So that's when I take my blade and I start refining out the edges to make it uh, nice and smooth. So I take out of my blade or my uh, um, trusty paint scraper that I love. Um, 
Let's see. You need someone to edit these videos professionally, put them on Netflix or iTunes or something. My God. Oh, that would be good times. I know. We need to get some uh, crazy shows down. That would be lots of fun. Okay. I would love it, though. My favorite place to have this appear on would be PBS. I think this would be pro for PBS. But, like, the new, like, edgy PBS. <laughs> if that's even a thing. I wish that I had paint scraper here. This blade's just too small. So there you go. You can see my setting is starting to take place. I'm going really fast right now. Normally I would take a bit longer on it, but you can see that it just, even just like this, it looks better. It looks like it's meant to be on this armor piece and that it was metally put into here. Do you know what I mean? I would be with the likes of armor. I would love that for sure. Stamp counter. Edgy PBS, for sure. Oh, thanks, Bluesy. I love Arthur Stewart, too. And after uh, the roast of uh, Justin Bieber or whatever I think it was, uh, she was, like, just epic. I did not see that coming. I did not. And she's great. Thanks, Creeper. I know. I wish I had it. Yeah, I'd love to be right alongside Downton Abbey. <laughs> that would be super fun. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the other side. So my other, I'm just going to heat it and do my other side to make my little gem holder. So once again, I'm just shaping all of the edges and everything. So Andy, where is the blue? Well, it's like, it's right here, look. See? So I can choose whether or not I want to be blue or whether or not I want to be orange. See, I chose the orange portal today because I was doing like the orange and orange and I thought that orange matched with what I was wearing today. As stupid as it sounds, sounds like such a girl saying that, but yes, that's, that was the thought process of the day. Okay. 
So I'm just using this to refine these edges. I wish I had my paint scraper. He is somewhere. I don't know where he's taken off to, but he's somewhere. I just am losing all of my craft supplies like everywhere all the time. Yeah, whatever, it's good enough for the time being. So you can see I added on my nice little facet edging right there. Just makes it look like it belongs more, like there was a thing that was created. Obviously, this gem is a little extreme for this bracer. I probably would make a smaller gem, but it was just the one that I had cast from the last LED tutorial, so I decided to include in there. So, got my nice little switch, bam, and I got my glowing. So, because I promised you guys, I'm going to turn off all of the lights and we can see my nice little glowing thing. I wish I had both um, batteries that I could put on there, but like as you can see, now I've got glowing gems. And if you look in the inside, like you really can't see um, like my wiring or anything. It fits nice. It still fits good and nice onto my bracer. Um, so let's see. Imagine a blue and orange portal that connect to, to and from the infinity. Some of be so crazy. I know. No, paint scrapers here. I have a lot of paint scrapers. I can't find them right now. Like my best one. So, all right, yeah, my leggings, this is my Arthas leggings. So, my Prince Arthas leggings. As this guy was like, here's a hundred fifty for, for you and picture of you in tight leggings. It's like, come on, okay. So I'm just turning my stream lights and everything off, because I promised I would. And then, it's dark and spoopy. So, just so you guys can see, oh, it doesn't even show up well on camera because it's all tuned to my lights. So I have this camera is here and whatever. Damn, I'm so pissed. It doesn't even show up well. That was super uneventful. Damn it. But it looks really cool, like, in person when I'm looking at it. Oh, that makes me so mad. Doesn't even show up well on camera. Shows up better on this one. You can kind of see spoopy, but whatever. Oh, I wish I had two batteries in there so it's super bright glowing. That is too bad. But anyway, whatever. This, this main camera, it's why it's, like, lighter here and darker here is because this main camera is tuned to my lights. So when I turned off, you can only see in this one kind of a little bit. Aww. But anyway, yes, it works. We, this is how you put LEDs and gemstones and everything into a cosplay. Obviously, if you use multiple batteries, it would be brighter. And if you had sandpapered it, like I suggested, it would be diffused. Okay, let's turn that on. So you can see it's still so dark with just my whatever lights. Oh, that makes me so sad because it's tuned to this light. There. Ow. Boo, I'm sad. <laughs> I really wanted it to be crazy sparkle glowing, but it's still like a kind of neat thing that you learn. So if you stack three batteries, you get super dough, yeah, totally. So, <laughs> I'm just so pissed. I can't believe this battery is dead. It's very frustrating, right? Also with the resistor in there, it uh, makes it, I don't believe that these batteries are dead. Why would they have died? Let's see. Like I just use them for last stream unless I had accidentally like left them on. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it with this stuff. Um. Hey, Andy, what is that collar? The necklace? Is that what you're asking about? 
or did you see something? Let me know. Um, rock not broken. <laughs> Big blue floaty land the main screen. I know it was. Oh man, these. Oh look, this one works. And now what happens if we? I'm like now dedicated to stacking these. Let's see this one. Maybe it was just this one that was dead. Yeah, this one is super dead, but this one does work. Okay, I want this brighter. I'm like now super dedicated to like, yeah, this one works. Okay, I'm super dedicated to taking the tape off and just and just stacking these to make this brighter. So I'm just taking the tape off here. Um, who killed the battery find out next time? I know. LEDs are the most uneventful thing here. I think they're cool. Like, it's crazy. Came with cosplay, and it's like you send it along and you make this really cool cosplay, and then you make it light up and glow. You're like, fuck yeah. I'm, oh, I mean, you're like, frick yeah. I'm a badass, you know? Like, oh my god. Um, don't be sad. It looked really good. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's not very bright, and it's also like has to do with. The uh, color, like the programs of my webcam right here to deal with front lights. So, yeah, now I'm on a mission. Uh, anyone know what grit sandpaper to use for sanding ABS 3D printed item? Yes, so I've been starting, not, I print with PLA, not with ABS station, but uh, we've been starting with like a 150, like, I think I have a 150 or 200 grit starting off and then moving all the way up to like super duper fine. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm like on a mission now that I have to do this. Um, You start adding the LEDs and you're like, yes, oh my God, it glows. I cannot ban the broadcaster for swearing. I know, I'm sorry. It totally, uh, totally made a swear, like a big swear. Okay, um, so yes, there, so that's glowing, but now if I stack them on top of each other, so it's like, here's the two. See, it's tough to see here, but here's the two, and then here's like, okay. So here's the one, right? I'm just trying to like hold it up, and then Here's the two. Do you see the difference? So one and then two. It is much brighter with two. Do you know what I mean? Much brighter with two. <laughs> oh, it's what you've been working on to YouTube. Yay, you're serious. LEDs are awesome. So burning LEDs is through is the most eventful and eventful thing ever. Yes, I can imagine. Kane is like our resident engineer, so he uses lots and lots of LED things on a daily basis, and he is always incredibly helpful and a fountain of knowledge with this stuff. Yeah, see, it is brighter, and it, it really, it's not that bright. It's, you have to trust me, it's like with the camera settings because there's like control of things like white balance and exposure and whatever because of my camera with my lights that are on me right now, things change and so it doesn't, uh, wait, there you go. So when it appears in camera, it appears a lot brighter on in other if the camera was just on manual. Okay. Sorry, I'm like, I was so dedicated to getting these two LEDs. Okay. So now, I'm gonna flop that over. Awesome. I am so happy. I am happy I found one that worked. I just, I wanted it. It looked way better. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to sleep easily because I did. I added the other one. Oh, night night CK cosplay. Have a good sleep. Um, no way. Kane is, uh, <laughs> no way. Yeah, you wear you can. No way. Kane is our, uh, resident electrical engineer and, uh, most interesting man in the world. Provider of, uh, advice on fine liqueurs. He is 
lovely with that a sommelier in his own time so that's that is king he's always wise about electrical engineering and a very good cognac so there's kane <laughs> oh bye tk cosplay yay twitch fam twitch fam all right let's separate that out okay yay i got the extra battery all right when you hear resident your brain completely Princess said this with evil no way resident is like in-house it's like our in-house doctor right he's our in-house engineer okay so i got my extra battery pack on there which i'm stoked about and i personally oh i crossed my something something happened but it was just working before there it goes all right all right okay so i'm just gonna Put that. Oh, I now won't do the things because the one side came out. I just had to replace this other battery. The second battery is just driving me nuts. Yeah, it was because, see, the tape came off of the other side. It's because I had to use the two batteries and it was sliding around, but. It was worth it. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> but it was just bothering me. Because I wanted it to be brighter and cooler. Alrighty, have a good night. Yes, I am almost done here too. Um, We are almost done here. Just doing this one last little thing. Because if I don't, it's going to bother me. Wait, which side is this one on? Right, it's on that side. Seriously, this is just going to drive me nuts if I didn't add the other battery on there. Okay. So let's snuggle you in nice and tape you up. Uh, oh, I won't stab myself. I'm fine. I'm having sleep as I was result. Yeah, I really like it. But doesn't it ever bother you guys when things like that happen when you do something and you're like, I just want to add this like one extra thing onto this. And if I don't do it like right now, it's going to like drive me mental. Does that ever happen? Okay. Yay. I did it. Better. That's better to me. You still can't see it on this, but if you saw it in real life, it would be better. It is. I see it. It's like, look at the reflection on like my hand. Do you know what I mean? It's brighter. It's better. I got magical powers of light and glowing cosplays. And especially when you go to a place like BlizzCon or something, like it really glows. And definitely follow some of the techniques that some of the... Uh, cosplayers have mentioned during this as far as uh some people said using a spray on the leds or painting them with white glue to diffuse them or like i said if you want to just scratch the surfaces with sandpaper you can do that too so nice super easy peasy now we have a glowing bracer so it's very easy you can do this just in the matter of a few hours obviously i paused a lot to talk you could probably wire up your whole costume in a night and just do all your soldering and stuff and then you have beautiful glowing super funky cool bracers so i think that that is super fun and super cool yay um yeah it's more noticeable when there are two batteries on it really like it really truly is and if my camera was tuned to different settings to not uh be attuned to light in front of me you would for sure really see it like it's you know it's way brighter when there are two leds on um all right wire up or rewire if you make a mistake yes absolutely um you make greeting cards with leds lights oh my god that's awesome that's super duper cool 
and um, hello passive attack welcome thank you for joining uh, Matt is a god oh what <laughs> uh, would I leave it on for the entire con Angela um yeah, with one battery, it almost looks like some of the LEDs are partially lit. Yeah, totally. Like, it looks better with two batteries. And because of the resistor that we have in here that we soldered on, the G batteries, it's absolutely fine. Would I leave it on for the entire con, Angela? Mm, maybe. Probably not. The thing that's so beautiful about having, like, the switch to be able to turn it on and off very quickly is that, say you're... I'm using BlizzCon as an example because that's where I see the most of like LEDs because the entire inside is dark. If I am outside just, you know, at the food truck getting something to eat, I will absolutely have my LEDs turned off. I wouldn't blow the battery power, you know? If I'm doing a photo shoot, I'll turn them on. Or if I'm walking around inside for a while or something like that, then I'll have them turned on. But as far as, you know, if you're just walking outside or to and from the hotel or just chilling, taking a break or hanging out with friends, I turn them off. So it's having the nice, quick, easy switch, super accessible is a really great thing because it really gives you the ability to go on and off and just control your battery consumption super duper easy. Uh, yo to my fellow Canadian. Hello, Passive Attack. You're in Toronto. Awesome. I am Van... I, well, not Vancouver. I'm in Kelowna, British Columbia. You're Canadian, so you will know exactly where that is. But most people who are not Canadian, I say I'm from Vancouver because it's easy. Um... Oh, Matthew Mercer is what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, Lunar Wings. Uh, what's the best material to cost with armor and stuff? So... Frankly, I personally like to use thermoplastic materials. It's what I make my cosplays out of. Um, it is a material that when heated by a heat gun right here, it can bend and take complex 3D shapes. And then when it cools down, it goes rock hard and you don't need another glue or anything to be able to attach it because it is uh, self-adhesive. So yes. Oh, I'm so sad. My Jupiter costume gallo wrecked. That <laughs> sucks. Um, yes, uh, you don't know Kelowna, you don't know Kelowna either. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, stations from Kelowna as well. Kelowna's kind of one of those things, yeah, it's Vancouver-ish, right? So, Quebec and Toronto and, yeah, so BC is Vancouver as far as everyone's concerned, even up here. Yeah, so you say, oh, thank you, Lunar Wings, so much for the follow. So you say to people, like, I'm from Vancouver, <laughs> just because it's easier. When you start saying small towns, it's, you know, it's tough. People don't really know where you're from. So you just say Vancouver because everybody's heard of Vancouver and they understand Vancouver and I've got a town that's, you know, four hours outside of Vancouver, so it's, it's essentially, it's pretty close, so. Yes, four hours east of Vancouver, yeah, so, like Station said, for sure. Um, thank you all. They don't spell proper also, yeah, totally. Um, you're waiting for all your bills to get there so you can buy a new sheet of Warbler, that's awesome, yeah, I just... Had to go get a new sheet of Warbla. It's sitting over here. Got it at Industrial Paints and Plastics. Yay. But that was it. That was all they had was just the one sheet, and that made me really sad. So I think that is it for the tutorial this evening. Um, it's great that, I mean, we already did the LED tutorial and stuff, but like you saw with my mistakes that I made with this plug and everything earlier, I really wanted to stress sort of what ends up happening in the inside of the armor so you can like see the cords that are all buried under that layer of warbla they're all nice and protected and they're also pretty smooth on my arm um so yeah i just wanted to sort of detail because i got some questions saying i'm doing sorry this is just it's not like necessarily a loose connection but oh thank you so much aura Oh, I'm making it a tiny total. Thank you, Aura. I know you hate the like autumn house. Thank you so much, Aura. Oh my god. I totally, totally appreciate that. Thank you, Un, so much. So, yes. Um, 
Yeah, it's just because I taped them because I had to do the two together and I did it rush. But, um, like you can see, I was having some questions saying, I totally get, I watched your LED thing and it's great and I get that, you know, soldering and stuff, but I don't really understand it in terms of actually how I go to the whole, I've now made a circuit, how do I just sort of translate that into doing stuff for cosplay and now you've got gems and you start painting it and there you go, right? So this was a little bit more of a in detail sort of cosplay specific uh, gem tutorial thing. So yes, um, oh, I think it are, uh, is a place uh, where guys like Shaver, Josh Georges, and lots of other NHL players make their summer home. Yeah, totally, Brad. Kelowna, uh, Jerome McGinla also has a house. I've actually been in Jerome McGinla's house. A friend of mine a few years ago was the one who was uh, actually building it and contracting it. So that was kind of cool to take a look at it. A lot of NHL players have uh, homes in Kelowna for some reason. So, yes. Um, take the attention to your guarantee. I love it. Well, thank you, Aura. <laughs> she do a one cent donation every time she cleans it up. I don't even think that, like, I don't know if you can do, like, a one cent donation on here. I think they have, like, a limit of, like, a minimum dollar. You can do, like, a one and one. <laughs> so, yeah, it's hilarious. She just hates the uneven totals. Um, am I going to a talk with Don? No, I probably not. Um, I've got a couple guest things. I'm going to be in Tokyo at the end of the month. I really want to travel to the East again. I was a guest last year at Anime North and Fan Expo Kanda, and I had such an amazing time. And I have heard that Otaku Don is like the AX of Canada, right? The Anime Expo of Canada. It's supposed to be just amazing and really insane quality cosplay and stuff. And so I'm really sad that I can't. Um, I would love to, but it's just getting to the East Coast this year is not, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it as much as I would have wanted to. Um, you just give up after a couple of tries. Oh, good times. Yes, chairs are different. Er? <laughs> yes, I'm going to Japan, Lunar. I'm very excited. I'll be going to Japan soon. I'm going to be doing a stream from Japan, and I'm going to have my mom on the stream, too, to say hello to all of you wonderful people and to hang out with the fans. So that'll be super fun and pretty funny because she doesn't really understand technology very well. So... <laughs> She'll be like, what, these people are here now? Like, they're alive? So, you think of traveling to Canada and attending the event. It's supposed to be absolutely incredible, Lunar. I'm telling you, like, it's it's a very, very amazing um, anime convention for North America. And even though it's, like, Canada, like, we still put on some really incredible cons. And so, yeah, it's supposed to be very, very cool. Um, oh, okay, bye, Aniri, have a good night. And yes, I think that I am going to be off to bed too. So any final questions or comments that you guys have, I'll give you a moment to write them if you need to. If not, um, then I really hope that you guys enjoyed everything. I love Sundays and hanging out with you guys. Uh, it's been just awesome. It's like one of my favorite days. Then <laughs> Thursday, like I love every day. I need to, uh, going to be adding another stream day soon when school ends. I got like two more weeks and uh, then it's going to be not as much time in between seeing you guys next, which always makes me sad. So, um, do I have a teleporter? Um, I will, okay. I will take care of that after I am done. Uh, never did. Aw, thanks, Eric. Yay! Look at my Eric mod. Yes, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure to hit the follow button. Also, if you want to check out any of my work and stuff, I've got my social medias all just on the row here. I most frequently post on Instagram. It's sort of where I yeah, I do my kind of daily posts and whatever. Uh, also, all of my uh, previous crafting tutorials and everything are on the link down below to my YouTube. They're all uploaded there so you can watch them in full to see all sorts of different crafting tutorials. Everything from resin casting to breastplate making to we just did in, a little while ago. We did an exploration of different paints and primers and stuff to use. So, yes. 
Uh, one suggestion way back from Jan, try and get some sleep before Pentagon. I know. It's going to be crazy. I get back and I should have like a good like 10 hour, 12 hours before Pentagon to just chill and sleep. So it should be fine. Maybe 14. I don't know. Something. Aw, thank you so much, Modern. Aw, thank you. I'm actually really surprised that you did an even number and didn't do something to test Aura. That's hilarious. Good. Yay. See, we're all being nice and kind to each other. Aw, thank you so much, Modern. I totally appreciate that so much. Thank you. And, um, yes, we are going to get to it. Yes, we are going to get to it. I'm so excited. Aw, and he did invest the number up just for you, Aura. That was just for you. So I know, I'm so excited. Yes, thank you so much to everyone. And thank you so much for, yes, all the new follows and for the donations. So everybody who donated, thank you so, so much. And TwitchCon, our big surprise donor of the night. Thank you so much. And uh, everybody who just came to watch, it's, you guys are my fam. You guys make everything so good in, in the world. So seriously, like I, I love this. I love you guys. You're, this is my favorite, favorite thing to, to just come here to do this with you guys. So yes, I'll try to stream if I can before Thursday, but it'll be probably just like a surprise stream or whatever. But uh, if I'm not working, if I am working, then I will see you guys on Thursday. But, yes, yeah, so thank you guys, everybody who's still here, Aura, good night, and Berserker Works, good night, and Eric, good night, and Kane, and Brad, and Modern, and uh, Angela, and I don't know who else I, that I missed who's still here. Yay, so good night, guys, and I will see you guys real soon. Bye. Ooh.